Welcome back to Gleaner Fanzine TV. We're on the, on the walk and talk. Uh, we've stopped at Herne Hill. There's a couple of hundreds here, including Paul and Bella, who, um, who are driving forces behind this um, really, really worthy initiative and walk. Paul, so, so tell us about Walk and Talk to start with. Uh, walk and Talk was an initi initiative, even, that was uh, brought up uh, by a friend of mine called Lee. Um, what I've done is pick it up and drive it forward. Uh, it's about um, men's mental health in particular and also male suicide. But it's not predominantly about just that. Um, what it is is a platform for people to come together to talk, to talk about whatever, and uh, to spread the word via social media that it's okay to talk and it's uh, okay to not be okay. Absolutely, and, and, and the, the response has been phenomenal, hasn't it? In terms yeah, of people jumping forward and... uh, it's been a really, really good uh, response. I think we've probably got about 150 so far. That will build as we get towards the uh, Emirates. Um, but the social media response as well uh, has been huge. You know, we had some really, really uh, famous people tweeting stuff out for us. Lee Dixon, Susanna Reid. It's all that. It's about that. It's about spreading the word. But it's okay. Absolutely, absolutely. Bella, you, you did the walk last year as well, didn't you? With a lot of other people. Um, yes. Much bigger crowd. It's it's easier today. It's cooler, and that actually makes a huge difference. And it's great to see people open up. It's really important. Yeah. And, uh, to listen to their stories. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's a great atmosphere as well. And it's not too late if you want to join the walk. Um, there's, there's stops at Angel and, and a few before there as well. Yeah, there's one at uh, the, uh, the pub over just opposite uh, Suffolk Tube Station. Uh, more than welcome to join there. Uh, that's about 12.40. Up by the Angel about 2 o'clock-ish. And uh, yeah, anyone's welcome to join. Just jump on board and uh, walk and talk with us. Fantastic. And there's, there's Arsenal fans here as well. It's not just me and you and a couple of others. There's a few Arsenal fans. And the atmosphere it's great, everyone's really welcoming and yeah. it's a really good, uh, good thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We've got, we've got a Millwall fan. How good football fans can be. Yeah, yeah. You know, and if you're only joining us at Angel and doing the last walk up to the Emirates, remember to bring food for the food bank. Yes. Isn't it a food bank as well? They've got a collection at the Emirates today. Ask them back in it, loads of people back in it as well. Isn't a food bank? Bring something if you can, and obviously uh, join and walk and talk if you can as well. Cheers, guys. We'll see you on the walk. Excellent. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. We have Neil from uh, Samaritans, um, who's part of the walk as well. I think it's brilliant. I think football is that sort of universal language, isn't it? And it's part of our campaign for real people, real stories is about reaching men. And you look around a football ground or a pub with uh, football supporters in it, you know, most of men there, we really want to reach men. Um, they're the kind of problem demographic that take their lives. Um, around 70 to 80 percent of men um, of suicide are men. And so the campaign is about getting men to, to talk. Um, we're talking to men that have come through difficult times and share, share their stories. Um, they talk to people uh, who reach out to some artists to seek help. So it's really fantastic, fantastic. His name's Charlie and he's 10 years old today. He's, uh, he's a big, big follower of this. He does loads for us. He did the marathon march last weekend with his little dog Archie. So I just wanted to, uh, if, if it's alright, to get everyone to sing him happy birthday. Definitely. Three. Charlie, yes, Charlie. <laughs> right, so. But happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Charlie. Happy birthday to you. Welcome back to Guna Fans and Guna Fans in TV. We're on uh, Walk and Talk. I've met Lee today, who's um, who's on the walk. He's been a driving force behind Walk and Talk. Lee's not even actually a, a Palace or an Arsenal fan, he's a Fulham fan, and it was your idea to sort of start this a few years ago, wasn't it? What about the top of food? Yeah, I had a massive breakdown ten years ago. Right. I ended up in a psychiatric unit, didn't want to be here no more. I thought to myself, I lived a life for so long, and then got to the point that I saw football as a way of escape. Uh, Fulham were in the Europa League final, the journey that was, I wanted to get back to the fans, and I thought I was alone. My depression and my massive anxiety and my way of being now didn't want to be here. So I think to myself, coming to football with this mental health, we can be a massive change. And trying to lead to a tweet now, I walked to Reading with um, my colleagues who had to retweet subsequently. I wasn't there much of my annoyance, but I subsequently done it. And then we're five years down the line, we me and Paul met on a TV show. And spoke about my trip up to Wigan, to so yeah, yeah. Wigan, and come off set. And Paul gave me the biggest hug. Never met a geezer in my life. A random geezer gave me the biggest hug. And come off set when I've been suffering. I've not spoken to no one. And it's a fair play to Paul. So it's been absolutely amazing.
amazingly sort of like that. Uh, I'm not one to to keep going at the pool. It's just like a dog on the phone. Absolutely stunning man. He's just absolutely pulled out every stop possible. Uh, massive kudos support. Absolutely. And, and how important is walk and talk? Because you've like so you've had your issues, you struggle with suicidal tendencies as well, didn't you? Yeah, um, I think it's amazing. You, you know, you meet yourself like yourself. I've met so many people that have had massive problems and opened up for the first time. Yeah. Uh, Birmingham City fans, Reading fans, um, so many fans have opened up to us while we're doing this and it's what it really takes, you know. You don't, I, I personally think that all I needed was a fellow football school. Okay, we should yeah. sort of open up and understand that there's a problem in the city and just walk and talk. Yeah. Yeah, today's society, everybody's on their phone, everybody's too busy walking around on their phone, just oblivious to anything and everything. But when you're walking and talking, there's no phones, there's just pure and utter hardcore talking. Yeah. And you get to the problems, you're here for a reason, you're here to talk for them. But then there's an the underlying issue that there's men's mental health. And you, you open up and talk and you like you're not alone and what happens is there's a massive community that gets built yeah. naturally and people go to games together and they're happy and that's that's kind of where I want to be where people are talking about things people are going to Arsenal away never went to Arsenal away before people that they know yeah. and that, that can only do the club good the people good which is more important the clubs is irrelevant to me I don't care who's or what to do. if you're suffering man come along to one of these and yeah. you're welcome at anything We've got New Year's Eve, we've got um, walking through the night, New Year's Eve. We've done it two weeks ago, walked from Fulham to Reading, with a load of Reading fans. That's going to be, again, it's going to be massive. New Year's Eve, going to open up the champagne on the A43. It's just, oh, no. just it's, it's something important, it's something really true to my heart. Because I wish there was a club that would open up to me. Uh, the Havers Heath have been super, my local club. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely amazing. I'm working with them to do a lot of work. So there's big things on there. Mate, honestly, I'm really, really close to your time. Huge respect for what you're doing, and um, we'll definitely keep in touch. Yeah, we will do. It's yeah. Thanks for coming. You no, know, it's, it's, it's it means so amazing. much. It's understanding that people have problems, regardless of what team you support. Being a fan, my little boy is over here. Yeah, right? he's to me. I want him to show, show him that there's bigger things than just support one club. Like, you can ask the question. You can talk to people. You can be there for other fans. Realise that it's great in the ground, you're giving sticks and each other, this, that, and the other. That's part of football. Yeah, absolutely. And whoever wins, wins. At the end of the day, I hope we all meet up after this and have a drink. And I just go, this is what it's about. The bigger team won, which is all control. And I understand that we're all in this shit together, man. Yeah. If we can help one person save one person, it's like 12 miles is nothing. If we can help one person save yeah. their life, job done. Good man. Welcome back to Guna Fans Inc. TV. We've just literally finished the 12 mile walk from uh, Crystal Palace to the Arsenal um, in aid of walk and talk. A fantastic, um, fantastic cause. And then um, there's some really, really good people being on this walk. A couple of hundred people all the way from South London to North London. Um, I've got Paul here. How was the walk? How'd you feel? I know you say you were at your feet or you were your Achilles are blowing up or something. Yeah, yeah, but, um, Tendons, yeah. It's not bad up here, but it's worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, how did you get involved in walking something? Um, I, I got involved the first time when we went from Fulham Town to Sellers Park last January. Uh, about seven weeks prior to that, I tried to kill myself. Right, okay. Uh, and I, I was in the room with my uh, family and friends.
Australia as well, we'll have a go now. We're still here and we're alive and, and we're going to stay alive. Oh, yeah. And we're going to hear everybody's stories. And to have the Samaritan Today, yeah. listening to the stories, but also listening to each other. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well said, well said, guys. It's been an absolute honour to be on this march with, with you guys. And um, Guna Fans is going to be um, writing about the fans. It will be on the website as well. If you're Guna Fans on TV, stay tuned to watch it. But it's just been an absolute honour with everyone. So, fair play. Cheers. Welcome back to Guna Fans on TV at the end of a 12 mile walk from uh, Palace to the Arsenal. We're on the uh, to, to aid walk and talk um, which is um, going to sort of raise awareness for Men. mental health and uh, trying to avert male suicide I'm absolutely knackered I've run a marathon but my feet are killing me I've only walked 12 miles there's, there's people who are absolutely far more sprightly than me but um, I'm absolutely shattered Jake you did so well today how'd you feel? Tired that uh, eagle suit at the beginning but luckily it, died, it sort of died out towards the end the battery had died <laughs> It was a great day, great people. It was a mixture. The football fans mixing together was yeah. what football fans should be about. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it, it, this is only this is not the end. This is the start, isn't it? We're hoping to get more going in this, as we said. We're going yeah. to try and get as easy to walk and talk going for Arsenal fans as much as we can. Absolutely. And, and once my feet stop hurting, we'll certainly jump on board. But yeah, watch Guna fans in TV. Buy the Guna as well. Read our website. Walk and talk. It's going to get bigger. Basically, thanks to everyone who took part. I can't wait to sit down and have a burger. Neither can I. <laughs>